listen up in the pits. Oh, attention in the pits. I was waiting for the burnout. Super Street, Stock Eliminator, Super Comp, and Top Dragster. Presented by Ride Trailers, I need you lanes, please. Super Street, Stock Eliminator, Super Comp, Top Dragster. To the staging lanes, please. Matt Hagan. For Jason Johnson, Johnson's Horsepower Garage vote. Came on board as an associate earlier in the year. Had, primary, had an opportunity to take over the primary signing. Tony Stewart was out here earlier in the week after the SRX event out in Virginia. Flew out here to a personal appearance. Folks at Renai, Tankless Water Heaters. Rush Truck Centers, Mobile One. Jason Rupert, he is a former champion. We're on the Heritage Series, working down there with a guy by the name of Brad Littlefield, who's been around this sport forever and ever. If you're familiar with Littlefield Superchargers, that was his dad's company. And Ron Tobler is down there hanging out as well, just kind of in an advisory capacity. The feather in the cap would be for Jason Rupert if they could knock off a three-time world champion. Matt Hagen, of course, has other ideas. Rupert gets way over by the wall. Hagen goes 399 at 317 miles an hour. Jason goes 403 at 314 miles an hour. And I have a feeling that race was a little closer than Dickie Venables and Mike Knutson and the JHG guys would have liked it. But 3.997, 317 miles an hour. That's a win for Hagen. We'll take a look at a replay, but first we'll hear from Joe. Here with Dickie Venables racing the racetrack, but also racing Ron Tobler over there. So you can't just lay up. No, you know, we're trying to race the racetrack, but yeah, definitely uh, our paths seem to keep crossing and it's all it's all good. But uh, put a hole out down there. We were hoping to run a little better than that, but we'll take the win. For Jason Rupert, it's his best run of the weekend on both sides, but he just came up a little bit short as we take another look. Now watch the big red dot. Yeah, you see a cylinder out over there on the left side of the car. That explains the speed being down a little bit, the ET being off a little bit. But the old story, right? You just got to be better than the guy in the other lane. And Matt Hagen, 3.997. He's going to move on for the win.